and we're back with another garden angel, the bumblebee, aka the humblebee, or what I like to call the Boeing 747 of flying insects. Stay to the end, I'll let you know why I call them that. But here's a hint, they have a unique way of pollinating plants. Before we get into that, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe or follow button. Alright, let's go. Bumblebee, common name for any member of the insect tribe of Bumbanae. These bees occur much over the world but are most common in temperate climates. They are absent from most of Africa in the lowlands of India and have been introduced to Australia and New Zealand to aid in the pollination of various flowering plants. Altogether, there are more than 250 known species within the bumblebee genus of Bumbus. Several extinct species are also recognized in the fossil record. The genus may have evolved some 25 to 40 million years ago. The bumblebee can be identified by its rather large plump appearance, its rounded abdomen, and the hair spread all over its body. They sport black and yellow colors, and sometimes even orange or red, in specific bands or patterns. These bright colors serve as a warning to other animals of the potential danger of threatening the bee. Most bumblebees are social insects that form colonies with a single queen. The colonies are smaller than those of honeybees, growing to as few as 50 to 600 bees in a nest. They often nest in the ground, commonly in deserted bird or mouse nests. Each nest has a queen, drones that are males, and workers that are females. The queen lays her eggs in the nest after spending the winter in hibernation. The first brood generally develops into four to eight worker bees. Shortly after emerging as adults, these workers take over from the queen in the duties of collecting pollen and caring for the hive. The queen then retires to a life of egg laying. In late summer, with the large population of workers bringing in abundant food, males and new queens are produced. Although some males develop from unfertilized eggs laid by qu the queen, most hatch from eggs laid by the female workers. Female bumblebees can sting repeatedly, but generally ignore humans and other animals. In early fall, the queen stops laying and the colony, including the queen, gradually dies out. During this period, the larvae of certain moths and beetles prey on the remaining eggs and larvae in the nest. Bumblebees gather nectar to add to the stores in the nest and pollen to feed their young. They forage using color and spatial relationships to identify flowers to feed from. Some bumblebees steal nectar, making a hole near the base of a flower to access the nectar while avoiding pollen transfer. Bumblebees are important agricultural pollinators, so the decline in Europe, North America, and Asia is a cause for concern. The decline has been caused by habitat loss, the mechanization of agriculture, and pesticides. The unique reason bumblebees are an important pollinator is because of their behavior of buzzing, or sonicating, flowers that require this behavior for pollination. For example, tomatoes and some other flowers in the nightshade family don't produce nectar, but the bees visit them anywhere in order to collect pollen, which they do by vibrating their wing muscles to shake pollen grains out of the anthers. It's why I've nicknamed them the Boeing 747 of the insect world. And if you've ever heard a bumblebee in flight, you know what I mean. And that's it. Thanks for learning something new and see you again tomorrow.